Now, in this exercise, we are going to complete the given sentences using the words we have learnt. Either commencer a, continuer a, etc. So, we know many words that are used to describe these actions, right? So, let us begin with the first sentence. Andre a. So, the he is 80 years old. Old. Quatre vingt ans. André a quatre vingt ans. Mais il est en pleine forme. He is eighty years old, but he is healthy. Il dash faire de la natation, the swimming. So, though he is eighty years old, he continues swimming. So the word is. Continue a. Il continue a faire de la natation. So, now we have written the first sentence. All we had to do was to read the sentence and understand which of the verbs should fit in the blanks. So, in this case, continue a. That was the suitable word. The next one. Daniel fume beaucoup. Il dash fumer a trezon. So now, if you read this sentence, here the word that would be suitable is to start. So, what would be the suitable word here? It is commence. Commence. Il Commence à fumer à 13 ans. Now, the next sentence. Tangi a, he is 28 years old. So, if you notice, here, here he's, it says he is 80 years old, but he continues. Right? In the next one, it says he started. That is the word we used. Now, in the next sentence, he is 28 years old. Il dash habite che se parents. So, he is still living with his parents. So, continue would be the appropriate word. Continue a habite. He continues to live with his parents. The next sentence. Nicolas. Nicolas. Voyage. Seul a. So, since. So, Nicolas. Voyage. So, he is traveling. It has been 18 years. So, it is. The action is in the past. He started, right? The word we are going to use is started. But the action is in the past. He had already started. So here we use passe composé. Nicolas a commence a voyage seul a 18. This we don't. Nicolas a commence. So why did we use passe composé here? This is because the action we are going to describe is started to travel. But this action is in the past tense. So, we use the passé composé. Finally, the last sentence. Pierre travaille. Pierre works. May dash étudier. So, he is working but he Continues to study. So that is very obvious. So the verb we use is continue. Me. Continue a étudier. Pierre travaille. Me continue a étudier. Or you can say, Me il continue a étudier. He works. But he continues to study. So now we use these words in the appropriate places 
to complete these sentences. We will see more, we will learn more about these and we will practice some more uh, words where we explain the action before, during and after it has taken place.